Man, so I just want to get on here and talk to y'all real quick. I know this isn't really the podcast set per se, but you know I got to get on here and talk to you guys. Um, got more podcasts coming on the way. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate all the love, the support, the sharing, the liking, the comment y'all did on the last podcast, man. Y'all really showed me that um, this is what y'all want to see. This is what I want to do. So I will continue to put out more podcast content for y'all. I will continue to line up some good special guests for y'all, man, so that we can just continue this thing, continue rolling, continue popping with this thing, man. Um, well, continue to subscribe to the channel, like, share, comment, um, share with somebody you know, man. Just if y'all want to jump down in the comment, which I want, uh, just some topics y'all want us to discuss on, give y'all our opinion, our views on things. Um, we are not scientists by any means. We are not experts by no means. Whoever I bring on here is just people who I see, um, well, one, people who God lead me to, who lead them to me. Not only that, but just people I see who has potential. Uh, I just want to use my platform to give them a platform, you guys. So uh, without that being said, man, let's just hop right into the video, man. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, I don't want to take up too much of y'all time because, of course, uh, I want to save that for the podcast, but I do want to get on here and talk to y'all a little bit about uh being persistent i know i've talked about that in previous videos man um we all face trials we all go through different things we all face different obstacles that's just life some people go through much worse situations some people go or start out in much worse situations some people start out further ahead than others can't really look at that that's just how life goes that's just the, the hand that we are dealt um what matters is what are you going to do about it are you going to complain are you going to gripe, moan, or are you going to sit back and and watch other people make their dreams come true while you sit back and just not do anything? Or are you going to get up and just keep pushing, keep going, keep moving forward? What is What are you going to do when you when you stumble, when you fall? I tell my son this all the time. You fall, man, you got to get up, dust yourself off, keep moving forward, man. It's the only way to go. You can't give up. Either way it goes, it's going to be hard. Whether you continue to push forward, it's going to be hard. But also giving up is hard. Actually, let me change that. Giving up is easy. It's easy to quit. It's easy to say, I don't want to do this. It's easy to just lay there. It's easy to, to say, man, I, I throw my hands up. Somebody else take it on. It's easy to do that. But the hard part is that regret, that feeling that you get afterwards, knowing, dang, if I would have just one more day, if I would have just pushed through a little bit further, if I would have just pushed a little bit harder, what would I be? What would I be doing? That, and that, that'd be my biggest thing. That'd be the biggest thing for most people. Uh, like many of y'all know, I went to college, played college ball for a year, uh, decided not I didn't want to play anymore. Uh, I, I was trying to work my way back into it. Didn't happen. It wasn't God's will for me to play, and I finally accepted that. <laughs> it took two so. It took three surgeries to figure that out that just football might not be God's will for me. Well, at least me playing personally and that I wasn't going to make it to the league, which is okay. I accepted it. It took me a while to accept that, but I accepted it. And I see um, I see how God is has and will be able to take my trials, my, temp, my situations, my testimonies, and just better other people. I am able to speak to different people about what I've been through. Uh, how I've overcome these things, how I, what I did in certain certain situations, like as far as the surgery. Talking one of my homeboys the other day, uh, I saw him in the gym. He had just told me he just tore two two tendons in both of his in both in his ankle, and he's a basketball player. So and you need your ankles to play basketball if you don't know. So um, he's just uh, out of surgery, and he says that it's, it's really. Uh, mental, mental struggle, and I can really relate to that because, especially with the second knee surgery, it was really mental. Like, cause I had been here before, I had done the physical aspect, so just I'm I'm used to putting my body through tedious situation and tedious pains and things like that to 
uh, get stronger and push myself even harder. But it's just a mental thing, man, especially for a lot of us guys. Excuse me. Especially for a lot of us guys because we put on this uh, muchamo uh, that we, we just tough. We got to hold everything in, which is okay at certain times, but sometimes you got to let things go. You got to talk about certain things because just holding it in for so long can leave you stressed, can leave you depressed, and then you aren't wanting to talk to nobody. You aren't wanting to do nothing. And then it really is easy to just give up and, and quit because, man, I felt like quitting so many different times, and I'm so glad that God kept pushing me forward so that I didn't quit. So that's why I tell people, man, your your why has to be stronger than, than the situation right now. Why I wanted to get better at first, it was to get back out on the field, to get back to sports. And once I saw uh, that wasn't going to happen, it, it did get harder for me. And I did get a little depressed and a little sad then. But I just had to shift my focus, uh, reevaluate my, my priorities. And I had to realize, like, uh, there's there's bigger things than football. I saw uh, how me going through certain things and how it made me adapt and how it made me change, how I was able to take those stories and I was able to take those situations and help other people out with what they was going through, whether it was uh, football-related, sports-related, uh, just life in general. Because I feel like, man, football is such a great sport that competes or is so compatible with life because it's, it's just so many different situations that you are put in with football, especially being a leader, that you have to be able to maneuver uh, through life and just and forming a business ultim ultimately, especially when you're a pioneer. There's not many people where I'm from doing what I do and doing as much as I do. So it's easy to uh, look, uh, look around and, and see compare it's easy to look around and compare uh yourself and your situation to other people's self uh, other people's situation and things of that aspect which is crazy because nine times out of ten it's not like that it's not what you see social media is just a highlight reel i tell people that all the time that's why i had to get away from social media for a while because it's just a highlight reel and it can get depressing you see other people doing great things or you see other people living their life uh but you don't know what they did or how they uh, got to that point. You don't know what they had to go through. That's why I tell people, man, don't judge somebody until you know their story, until you know their full story. That's why I feel like God has given me this platform to express people and to give people that, that platform to express their stories and express themselves. Uh, so that's why I want this podcast to be a safe space. Uh, just this atmosphere, whether I have people coming to me, whether I go to them, I want them to feel comfortable and feel safe. Uh, to not only share with me, but to share with you guys uh, this story. Because you never know what your story might do for somebody, how it can change, how it can help somebody, how, or you never know what somebody might be going through and what you say can affect them, whether negatively or positively. Uh, it shouldn't matter, but that's just how life goes. That's why you see so many influencers, uh, motivations, uh, inspirational post speakers, things like that. Because what you say does affect people. How you say it affects people. So, uh, I just wanted this to be a safe space to where you can get on here to talk, express yourself, things of that sort. So, that's why I am and will be bringing on several different guests from different aspects of life, whether it's athletes, whether it's normal people. Um, we're all normal. Regular people, uh, nine to five jobs, whatever, entrepreneurs, whatever it is, businessmen, businesswomen. Excuse me, man. I am so sorry. Just as my schedule right now is so crazy, that's why my content is so scattered. Uh, I was doing good posting, but all over the place right now, working third shift. Of course, got a family, uh, business that I'm trying to do, the podcast, different things, man. Uh, life of an entrepreneur, life of a dad, life of a husband. Uh, you just got to make those sacrifices, man. And that's, that's one another thing I want to talk about before we go sacrifices man you got to learn to make the right choices and you're not going to always make the right choices because we're human we don't always make the right choices and that's okay but we have to learn to uh learn to adapt and just be able to accept our our choices like i i, I don't want to say i hate <laughs> 
because that's such a bad mean word. I, I just dislike when people make choices or when people do something and they blame other people for the outcome. Own up to your mistakes. Own up to your choices. Own up to the things that you do and the things that you say. People will have much more respect for you if you do that. I will have much more respect for you if you do that. I guess it doesn't really matter what I think or what other people think, but you will have more respect for yourself. So with that being said, man, uh, this was a quick one. Stay consistent. Don't give up. Keep pushing forward. Keep moving forward, man. I don't know if y'all saw that. Meet the Robinsons uh, movie. The slogan was keep moving forward. Just keep moving forward. You're going to fail. You're going to fall. You're going to stumble. You're going to get knocked back. What are you going to do? You're going to lay there or you're going to keep moving forward, man? It's your boy Deuce. That's it for this one, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.